Like, to me, this looks bigger than your average pencil. Guac. Guacamole. Oh my god. Oh! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be testing mostly the new Revolution Brat stuff, but I do have a few other bits in here, like a couple of bits from Planet Revolution and a few bits from the new, what is this collection even called? Neon Heat collection from Revolution. A lot of you guys asked if I could test the Brat stuff and I'm so excited for this because I loved Bratz as a kid. I was not really a Barbie, um, actually that's a lie. Under the age of maybe like five or four, I was more into Barbie, but as soon as I discovered Bratz, I was a Bratz girl. I had so many Bratz dolls and I loved everything Bratz, like the movie, the game, Oh my god, the Bratz game on Nintendo DS. Was it Nintendo? No, it wasn't even Nintendo DS. I think it was a Game Boy Advanced game. Or was it a PlayStation game? I can't even remember. Basically, I was a big fan of Bratz as a kid and I'm so excited for this makeup collection. Some of this stuff was gifted, other stuff I bought myself and this video is not sponsored. As you guys know, obviously I do have my own products with Revolution, but I'm under no contract to say anything good about any of their makeup. So I will give you my honest thoughts and impressions. Let's go. Just quickly on my face so far, I did use this, which is from the Planet Revolution collection. This Planet Revolution stuff, I've got a lot of it. Well, I've actually put everything into this giant like makeup bag thing, but the Planet Revolution stuff is all about like recyclable beauty and more better for the environment products, which I am all about. This is the Clean Hydration Serum with hydrating hyaluronic and grapefruit. It says parts of me can be recycled, parts need to go in the bin, my glass bottle and dropper can be re recycled, but my rubber lid and plastic collar need to go in the bin to get the best out of me after applying. Oh, what? Eh? Huh? What? Eh? There's someone at the door. I can't even remember what I was saying. I would just insert a little clip of what this made my skin look like because it made my skin look amazing. Super glowy and it felt really nice and lightweight and left my skin a little bit tacky. I really like this serum so far. I mean, obviously I've only used it once, but it made my skin look really good. It didn't burn my skin and it made my skin feel really nice. So I guess that's a plus. Definitely use that again. But they do also have these palettes, which I'm not gonna test today because I'm testing the Bratz palette, but I can definitely test these in another video if you guys would like to see them. And the palettes are actually 100% recyclable I believe. I actually am going to test something else from them which is the Colourpot Lip and Cheek Tint. So I've got a couple of shades of this. Fresh Raspberry and Blushed Cherry. Probably going to go for Blushed Cherry. Ooh, Looks like this. It feels... Mm, I don't know what I'm going to think of this. It kind of feels like a lip gloss. <laughs> oh my god what was that song from the Bratz? Was it from the Bratz movie? Or was it from the Bratz game? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to search this up now. <gasps> Bratz Rock Angels. Oh my god, this song. We know how to dare, we know how to dream. I was just transported back to being a child. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, so this is the darker shade. That's definitely gonna be too dark for me. So I'm not gonna go for that one. I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on my lips. Hmm. It's actually a really pretty nude color and I'm gonna use it on my cheeks. Okay, a little bit goes a long way because I just dipped into that the tiniest amount. My only concern is it does feel quite sort of sticky. So I will definitely set this with powder. We'll see what it's like once I've set it with powder, but you see like I've just taken the smallest amount. It's actually blending really nicely on my cheeks. It doesn't seem to be lifting my foundation off underneath, which is nice. Oh, and I forgot to mention, for my foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Foundation and I've got the shade... <laughs> This is the shade porcelain. Just a top tip, if you usually wear the shade porcelain in things, don't get this because that is not porcelain. Then I've just got the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer under my eyes and then for, I did put on a little bit of powder just under my eyes and then for my cream contour, a few of you commented on my previous video saying that I needed to get the Cash Beauty Contour Stick. So I went and ordered it on Beauty Bay next day delivery. This is the shade Shady Beach and it's really, really nice. Highly recommend this. I did not realize that Kaylee had her own contour sticks. So it's definitely a very glowy blush. It actually looks really pretty. What I am just gonna do quickly is take a little bit of this on the back of my hand because I don't wanna get too much. Pick some up with my brush that I used for my contour. And just add, actually it's probably easier if I dip my brush in it and then dab it on the back of my hand. There we go. 
I actually think it works better with your finger because that way it sort of melts it into your skin. And then I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender on my nose. You know what? I do like that. I think it's a really nice shade. I think for me, it's probably a little bit too glowy for my cheeks, like for my blush, because it does like slightly feel quite tacky. But I'm gonna see how it looks when I set it with powder. I'm just gonna set my face. I'm using my number seven powder. They do do this airbrush away powder in two shades. I think there's a medium dark, but it's not the same as the one that is supposedly the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't know what happened to that one. I don't know if we don't have it in the UK or something, but yeah, apparently this isn't the right dupe. I can feel it a tiny bit still through my powder. So I'm gonna say if you do have oily skin and you're wanting your skin to say completely matte, that's not gonna be for you. <laughs> but if you like something that's really glowy and just like melts really nicely into your skin, it's nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder bronzer. And then I'm just taking a little bit of this Diego Dalla Palma blush. I don't know if this is still available, but it's such a gorgeous blush. I love layering cream and powder products together. So for my highlighter, I'm actually gonna dip into one of the Bratz palettes. I went for the Yasmin one. I was looking on the website for ages, debating over which palette I should get because when I was younger, my favorite Bratz doll was probably Jade because she was the sort of like cool emo-y, edgy looking one. <laughs> the Yasmin palette, which is the one that I went for, was more versatile because they had some greens in there, they also had some neutrals, and they had some purples and a blue and a pink. The highlighter shades, or what I thought were highlighter shades, I think they're actually just bigger eyeshadows. The highlighter shades in that one looked like more appealing to me. So it comes like this. I think the packaging of these is so cool, like it's just so nostalgic. You do get a mirror in here, which is cool, and then all the shades come protected with this on it. So this is what the palette looks like like I think it looks really pretty and yeah I thought these were highlighters but now that I've got it I think they're just bigger eyeshadows but I am gonna shall I use this one let's use inner piece this shade here as highlight and see if it works because I'm sure it will well that works for me <laughs> probably don't need much glow on my nose because it's already glowing from the blush well, I would definitely say that does work as highlighter. So if you want to use this as highlighters, I don't see why you shouldn't. So for my eyebrows, which I haven't actually filled in yet, I am going to use one of the Planet Revolution pencils. These are just everything crayons. It says eyeliner and brow crayon, and I've got dark brown, and I've also got brown. I'll try brown first and see if it works. But again, these are no plastic, and it's actually a pretty long pencil. Like to me, this looks bigger than your average pencil. It's just like a basic old school eyeliner brow pencil style thing. It's quite soft actually so I'm just gonna go light handed with this. I am not the biggest fan of these classic regular style pencils because they get blunt quickly and then you can't get like a sharp you know brow stroke with them. I mean it's fine it's doing the job and I love the fact that it's recyclable and stuff and plastic free but obviously I kind of expected that with it just being a basic pencil. I'm just gonna put in a bit of this Ico brow gel. So moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna put on my eye primer or eye base. Somebody told me that apparently eye base and eye primer are different things. So this is technically an eye base. I'm just gonna do a couple swatches. Let's go for this gold. Ooh. Oh, let's do the bright green. Bright green shimmer. This lilac-y, purpley, bluey color. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. And then there's like a dark, sparkly purple, e blue. That is a gorgeous gold. That green is really pretty. It's not quite as shimmery. God, this lilac-y color. Okay, so first impressions, those are really pigmented. See, I could be really boring and go for a neutral look. They've got a dark brown. They've got a dark sort of burgundy purple color. They've got this really gorgeous like mustardy color. God, those also feel really nice. I think the only fair thing to do would be to do a different look on each eye. So on this eye, I'm gonna go for something neutral. On this eye, I'm gonna do something colorful just to make the most use out of it. So I'm gonna start with this mustardy shade because I really like the look of that. It's called Coffee Date. And I'm just gonna put this in my crease. It's really nicely pigmented seems to be blending pretty nicely. Then I'm gonna take some of this shade, which is called I Rule. It's like a matte burgundy color. And I'm just gonna add this into the outer corner. Oh wow, that's really pigmented as well. That's also a really pretty color. I'm just taking a clean brush to sort of blend that out even more. And you know what, let's dip back into a bit of coffee date. Oh, that was a bit much. 
I'm just taking a bit more of that because I did pretty much just blend most of it out and I'm just going to build that back up again. And then blend. I've just noticed there's a matte white or like off white shade here. So I'm just going to dip into a bit of that because I did just take that a bit overboard. And I'm going to use that to sort of blend out the edges. I'm going to take the shade Beauty Mark, which is this dark brown. And I'm going to do a smoky wing. So I'm just sort of like putting it close to my lash line. And then using this brush to sort of smudge it upwards. I forgot to mention as well, this palette is £15, so it's a little bit more pricey than Revolution's standard palettes. You get 18 shades in here. That worked really nicely. That brown is really beautiful. I'm just quickly mixing those three shades together. And then I'm going to take some of the neutral shimmers. There's quite a few to choose from in here. So we've got Aussie, we've got Glammed Up, we've got Pretty Princess. Okay, those look gorgeous. And then obviously we've got the one I used on my cheeks. We've got Crown, which is the gold that I swatched. And we've got Flaunt It, which I'm swatching on my thumb. Oh my God, they're so nice. You know what? I'm going to go for Aussie, which is this shade here. And I'm just going to put... The oh. Okay, what the hell? Sorry, guys. Someone has just started, like, cutting the lawn outside. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. But, um, um, can we see the shade? It is so smooth it is such like a smooth buttery glossy shimmer let's take a bit of flaunt it which is this one down here that one's not the same texture it's not picking up on my brush this one seems a bit more of like a chunky shimmer you know what i'm gonna take flaunt it on my finger because it did swatch beautifully with my finger and let's put some of that <gasps> just there Oh my goodness, that is so gorgeous. I'm also taking that Aussie shade just onto my lower lash line. And then I think on my very inner corners, I'm going to take the same shade that I used on my cheeks. Let's just put some of that right there. Okay, so the neutrals, I think, are stunning. Like, those shimmers, can you see that? Let's just take a tiny bit of inner piece, which is the same one that I used on my cheeks. The neutral shades get a thumbs up from me. We're going to do something a bit more colourful. I'm going to start with guac. Oh, guac guacamole which is a guac colored green okay it's very pigmented oh, what a beautiful green i really like green eyeshadow recently <laughs> that's why i put a green in my palette um i'm then gonna take coffee date which is this one and i'm just gonna use some of that to blend the edges out that did kind of blend away some of that green colour, so I'm just gonna pack a little bit more on. I wanna take this shade called Mystery, which is like a dark blue. I'm just gonna try, okay, I'm just gonna try. Okay. Oh, abort mission. Actually, no, that worked. Oh, it does look quite sort of like crumbly though, which scares me a bit. Okay. I'm gonna say maybe don't do this because that shimmer, um, it's quite sort of like crumbly and it probably is not best to put a hard shimmer over the top of a mat. I'm just gonna keep blending this and hope for the best. Cool, I mean, that's kind of working. I'm not a big fan of that shimmer shade by itself, but to be fair to it, it has kind of blended into the green. Do I take the bright green or do I take the lilac or do I take both? I'm gonna start off with the bright green, which is called Frog. It looks quite pigmented. I'm gonna try it with a brush and if it doesn't work, okay, nope, it's working with a brush. Oh my God. Oh my god, that is such a pretty green. Is it a crazy idea if I then add the lilac on top of that? Shall I try it and if it goes horribly wrong? Okay, this is called Feel It and it's this one here, just on like the very center. Okay, that shade isn't quite as amazing as the green. It's a little bit more chunky and the green is a bit more smooth, but oh my god, it looks so pigmented on my finger. Let me just try this. Okay. On my inner corners, again, I'm going to take this shade, which is inner piece, which is what I used on my cheeks. I'm actually really happy with how both sides have turned out. This is a gorgeous, like, glossy, pinky, brownie eye. And this... Wait, hang on, I need a little bit more. That is stunning. Like, look at this. I'm happy with that. I think the quality is really, like, nice and up to scratch. So I did have some of the Revolution eyeliners from their Neon Heat collection. But I don't think I'm going to test those today because I just think it would be too much going on in my eyes. But I would definitely test these in an upcoming video. I am, however, just going to test this mist, 
which is from the Neon Heat collection, I believe. This is the Strawberry Sizzle Making Make <laughs> Makeup Fixing Spray, and it's very diddy. It's very cute and small. Oh my god. It smells like strawberry. I mean, obviously it smells like strawberry. It's called strawberry sizzle, but I love strawberry smelling stuff. It's quite a strong mist, so I'm gonna hold it quite far away. It's not actually as strong a mist as the Friends spray, because I remember with that one, it was a bit like, Shh. I think my base actually looks quite nice today, you know? I did then get the eyeliner from the Bratz collection and the mascara, and these are now covered in setting spray. And the packaging just looks like this. It's got the holographic Bratz logo, so. I'm actually gonna do a wing, even though I have a wing here. I just wanna test it on both eyes. Um. Hmm. Where is the colour? First of all, like, on my eye, it's just not coming up very black. It's sort of seeming to dry up a bit as I get towards the end of my eyeliner. Let me give it a shake and try it on the other eye. Like, where is it? Where is it? I mean, it's coming out all right now, but it's just more of a charcoal than a black this one i'm gonna pass if anyone else has this and tried this did you have the same thing with it but i did also get the mascara from the bratz collection the packaging looks really similar to the mascara revolution but judging from the pictures online i don't think it's the same mascara it's just hot pink again with the holographic logo and the brush is huge I can already tell that this is not my type of mascara and I already prefer the Mascara Revolution a lot more. It's really like separating my lashes but it is just not giving me the volume that I want. I much prefer the Mascara Revolution. Yeah, do you see what I mean? It's just very natural looking. Okay, I have a bit more hope for the lip products. I went for one of the Maxi Plumping Lip Glosses and one of the Lip Crayons. So I went for Chloe in both of these because I think Chloe was the lightest shade. It doesn't smell of anything. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's so cute. It's got little like angel wings and halos on the lid. These really remind me of the, what were they? The Maybelline lip crayons I absolutely love. And also the NYX ones. And the packaging is so similar. They've also got a little like sharpener so you can define the point of it. I'm actually just quickly gonna put the gloss on first. So like I said, this is the Chloe gloss. It is huge. Look at the size of it, it's so chunky. I'm actually gonna try this first to see how pigmented it is as a gloss. Oh my God. Oh, mm, it smells minty. I hope it does plump my lips slightly. Let's just see what this looks like by itself. Okay, it's kind of the same color as my lips, what the hell? Oh wow, oh wow. I got some on my tongue and it started tingling straight away. This color nude is gorgeous. I can feel it tingling already, oh my God. It is a very opaque gloss, like that was full pigment. I'm actually gonna sit here and I'm gonna see how long the tingling sensation lasts for. I just have to give a little update. It has been two minutes since I started this timer, so like three minutes in general. It is really tingling now, but kind of in a good way. It's like a minty tingling. I actually prefer this feeling a lot better to a lot of other plumping glosses that I've got. It is a little bit sticky, but it's not like a horrible, like stringy, gloopy sticky. It's like a tiny bit sticky to the point where it feels like it would last a decent amount of time, but not to the point where I'm like, oh, get it off my lips. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it is plumping my lips, but they feel really nice. Okay, let's try the lip crayon. This one doesn't smell. I kind of wanted this to be minty as well. That feels really lovely. I was kind of expecting the color of it to be more like the gloss, which is a bit more of like a lighter, more cool tone nude. It feels really, really comfortable. It's like a semi-matte, I guess. And I'm gonna put the gloss over the top again, cause why not? All right, let me just give my hair a quick brush. So this is the overall finished look. Please let me know what you think down below. What is your favorite product that I've tested in this video? But there we go, those are my thoughts and opinions on the new Revolution Bratz collection. And a couple of the other bits, the Planet Revolution and the Neon Heat Spray. I will definitely test those Neon Heat eyeliners in a different video. So as usual, if you guys have got any questions for me about literally anything, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I pick one to answer at the end of every video. So today's question comes from Bridget and in her comment she said, my fave looks are the first one, love a natural look, the Elsa one, living my Disney fantasy and the lilac eye, so pretty, but you pull off everything, every single look. Thank you so much, Bridget. And then her question is, if you could only pick three snacks to eat every day for the rest of your life, what would you choose? And then she said, by the way, people always tell me we look similar. I don't see it myself, but a huge compliment is you're stunning. 
Well, Bridget, from what I can see in your picture, you are stunning. So that is a massive compliment to me. Three snacks for the rest of my life. Okay, so I'm guessing not like meals. It's just gotta be snacks. So I can't pick Cocoa Pops because that's not a snack. You know, one of my favorite things to snack on is grapes. Grapes and strawberries. I love fruit. Like, I really love fruit. I love snacking on fruit. Does garlic bread count as a snack? I just love garlic bread or like cheesy garlic bread. Oh, I love baby bells as well. Just white bread. So I would pick something healthy. I'd go with some grapes. Um, then I would pick something more substantial. So maybe some <laughs> garlic bread. I do love me some Pringles. Oh my God, this is just making me so hungry. Mozzarella sticks, does that count as a snack? Did the Domino's cookies count as a snack? Because those Domino's warm milk chocolate cookies. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Yeah, if that counts, I would go with grapes mozzarella sticks or garlic bread and then uh domino's cookies thank you for your question i'm now really hungry and i'm gonna go cook some pasta probably because i am home by myself this evening james is at work and i am starving so i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful if you did please give this a thumbs up subscribe if you would like to see more and more of me testing makeup and i will see you guys in my next video bye